Welcome to the Nova Gallery at 176 Lakeshore. We are so thrilled to have a wonderful artist here with a show called to call again? Yassified. 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 I'm going to turn it over to James and he's going to walk you through this amazing exhibition. Thanks, James. Thanks, Dermot. Yeah. Uh, so, Yassified is a social media term and it's uh, used when somebody uses a whole bunch of filters and puts makeup on it and mm -hmm. sort of really changes the look of someone. It's also been co opted sort of by the queer community mm -hmm. um, to mean something that has been sort of gayed or through a queer lens. So, what happens is um, maybe like a Bass Pro t shirt that somebody has cut and put beaded and made into a crop top. Something that's yes. sort of part of straight culture mm -hmm, has been sort mm -hmm. of co-opted or changed in a way. To give it new meaning. To give it new meaning, yeah, right? It's sort yeah. of a, a shift in, uh, in yeah. meaning. Mm -hmm. And so what I've done under that project title is two different projects. One is called Hunty, mm -hmm. which is a, actually, here's, here's a right here. So what I've done is I've taken a whole bunch of hunting masks uh -huh, and I uh -huh, culture yeah. map drag queen culture yeah. onto hunting culture. And so all of these have cheeky titles. This one is actually um, the iconic makeup Liz that Taylor. Liz Taylor wore <laughs> in, uh, in Cleopatra. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the other show um, is all about- This is a whole of, other series, this right? This is a whole yeah, other yeah. series. Yeah. It's an ongoing series. And yeah. what I've done is I've taken corporate culture and I've mapped it on to disappearing gay men's culture. Right. It's a bit of a commentary about corporate um, sponsorship of um, various um, queer events and how um, mm -hmm. we see a, a certain type of um, gay representation, but we don't see all of the representation. Mm -hmm. And sort of the more sex positive aspects of queer culture sort of get silenced because we don't have the Pfizer fisting float. So what I've done mm -hmm. is I've taken, <laughs> I've taken corporate slogans through t sort of Time's line and I've now it literally embedded them through I embroidery Stitched onto them these. Right so into, yeah, so yeah. It, it, I mean, it can be a, a super fun game just to see how many slogans that you can get. Yeah. But also, once you know the slogan, they kind of hint at whatever that proclivity is. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And then once you know the, uh, if you have the legend of the hanky code. There's a color code. Uh, there's yeah, a color yeah, code. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Each, so each hanky was worn either on the left or on the right, yeah. depending on what you were sort of into. Yeah. And then, uh, so if you know that then all of a sudden they make a lot more sense so for example um, yeah. this is a gold hanky um, and it means if you wear a gold hanky on the left or on the right it's two people you're, you're one person in a bar looking for two people okay. or, you're, or you're or you're a single person looking or you're yeah or you're a couple looking for a third person yeah. to have sex with yes um, and so the the um, so there's the, sort of like two sides of a, of a yeah, coin so like the top and the yeah, bottom are yeah, the yeah, looker yeah, and yeah, the looky yeah. so you have um, double your pleasure, double your fun on one side, and then the other person would say they're great. And, and that's the right and left side. The right, the right and left uh, side, uh, right back pockets. Yeah, back this pockets. is this is a well-known one. Yeah. This is the yellow hanky. Uh, mm -hmm. It's for people who are into water sports. If you don't know what that means, you can go online and look that up. And one mm -hmm. person would say obey your thirst, and yeah. maybe the uh, bottom would say I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> <laughs> it, so these are these are kind of consumerist sort of slogans that we all know. They're part of our our common consciousness, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, what yeah. I've tried to do is I've tried to uh, like use, use them and I guess in a way pervert them or mm -hmm, subvert mm -hmm. them. Um, mm -hmm. I think one of the things within marketing and marketing language is that they, there's a sexual undertone to a lot of things that we sort of have this social contract to like, let's not talk about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. then... Um, but then we co-opt it into our own exactly. lives and, so and our what own I've done now is I've taken these yeah. things where they've tried yeah. to make them subtle and yeah. I've made them very overt. Here's mm. another example. This would be somebody who's into police officers or those using wearing a police officer's uniform. <laughs> one would say life's a box of donuts, <laughs> Which is a Dunkin' Donuts, yes. and then um, the uh, the sizzling ad uh, from the 1980s was "Move Over Bacon." <laughs> now there's something meatier. You had to do your research on. I did. This there was stuff. a fair amount of research that I had to do with it. Let's comment right where we are at now at at the spectrum. Right. Yeah. Because right. you, you really wanted, I think James really wanted to have that idea of gay pride and right. uh, the, the spectrum coming through. Can you explain Absolutely. that? Yeah. yeah. So one of the things right. that I'm really interested in is identity through place. So. Right. Yeah. Um, how does a queer person use a space? How would mm. they use a public space or private spaces? Yeah. And so what I wanted to do was 
It's something that was decidedly gay, but didn't sort of rely on sort of a social political uh, commentary, and I didn't want to do something that was very homoerotic. Mm -hmm. And so I, I've done both of these projects sort of un under that uh, yesified umbrella. Mm -hmm. And the design of the show is such that it actually queers the space, so you can actually see like a whole rainbow flag. So it actually makes the whole space. Yeah. Very good. We are querying the north, <laughs> as as you see. Yeah, so yeah. There's a, a few more over love here. Love it so much. Um, and I think one of the things that's really interesting about the work is that if you don't know about um, the the various. Um, proclivities will say you can still enjoy the show on its surface level just because mm. of the pop culture references yep. for all of the, the apply corporate them slogans, to your own right? life and, and you laugh you laugh absolutely you laugh. Yeah, and then and then as yeah. you if we'll just go over here I'll show you another example of something like this is your favorite one this is probably my favorite <laughs> one just because it's so wrong <laughs> it is so wrong so if you know the hanky code the brown hanky uh, is yeah. a fetish known as Scott it's for people who like poo um, it's not my <laughs> Thing, but you know what? I'm just I'm not going to knock it. Some people are into that. It's part of but the when lexicon. We, when we were installing the show, I thought it was really funny. So mm. the top would say something. Nothing. Um, nothing says love and like something from the oven, which is a Pillsbury yep. um, slogan. Mm. And then we down here know. we have uh, KFC's uh, finger licking good. <laughs> oh, and when we were God. putting together the show, and I oh. realized there was a space right beside the men's washroom, I thought it has to go there. Yeah. It's, it's just almost like part of the trip too. Absolutely, it's just Thanks. so wrong. Um, we have another one here. This is actually one of the only ones in the entire show that I sort of changed. Originally, it was a red and black stripe. I have changed it to the infamous uh, Buffalo Check, which is sort of known within the bear community. A bear uh, community within is a subculture within the gay, within okay. the, the gay community. I, I, For those that know that, great. If not, yeah. um, you can look up the bear community. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and these are two um, interesting things. It's uh, from Build a Bear, which okay. is a, a, a company that where you go and you can make your own little teddy bears. And so oh, okay. I've used the old one and the new one. It's uh, where best friends are made yeah. <laughs> and the most fun you'll ever make, which are also, you know, I mean, this all sort of started too with like this idea of like what corporate slogans could you also say in bed? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. that's sort of that play on there. Yeah. Um, over here we have another reference to uh, a, a pop song. There's Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. I used uh, some sort of Christmas colors for that. So <laughs> I don't know. We don't need to go through the whole show. Oh, okay, sure. Um, but I just wanted to again thank you. You guys, this is open. We are ask, we're asking you to please be masked. I'm, uh, James and I are only unmasked just for this broadcast. But... Um, Please come down in the next month. It's going to be open till. It's open until February 18th. 18th. Uh, yeah, regular, yeah. I guess, work at work hours, Monday yeah. to Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope everybody can check it out, and I would love to hear some feedback about it. Yes. Uh, enjoy. There's lots more to see.